It's Time Warner Cable's local edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Jerome Horton. He is the chair of the Board of Equalization in California. Everyone's talking about it. Toyota announced that it is leaving the South Bay and moving 3,000 jobs to Texas. We know the Texas governor, Rick Perry, has been doing his very best to woo California firms to uh, his state. What do you make of this, sir? Is this really an evidence of an unfriendly business climate in California? I don't think so, Brad. I think it's a, an evidence of Rick Perry being aggressive and marketing his state. I think we need to do more of that. You know, the governor established GoBiz, and GoBiz's plan was to come up with a strategy. They've yet to do that successfully uh, as it relates to out-of-state international businesses. They do a lot of circulating right here in California, but it's just, a t you know, it's kind of like an informative thing. But I'm wondering if this whole notion that Texas is more business-friendly than California is really mythology. The LA Times did a report <coughs> recently. I'll hold this article up, too. It shows that during the recession, mm -hmm. um, Texas's wages has dropped more than California's. That in terms of the other side of the recession, both Texas and California gained about 1.2 million jobs. Texas may not have personal income tax, but they have higher property taxes. Tax, right. And their corporate taxes are on balance the same. Right. And then they have these multi-taxes in different counties. They're called county taxes. Right. Like I went to Texas and had to pay almost 70% on my rental car in right. Texas. It was crazy. So is this mythology that we need to somehow uh, disabuse? Brad, we, California has the resources. We have the strategy, we have the technology, 11 ports, somewhere around right. nine airports. We have the infrastructure. The challenge is just we have to be competitive. But, but are we, the question is, are we competitive? We just, people don't know it. Well, we're competitive from a numbers perspective. Right. We're not competitive from a proactive marketing perspective. At, at the same time, CNBC does yearly surveys. Mm -hmm. And I remember in 2013, they ranked Texas second as the most business friendly in California, 47th. Well, if you look at the numbers there, Brad, you'll see that they rank California relatively low on education. We have one of the finest huh. educational institutions in the world here right. in California. They rank this low on business friendliness, right. more so talking about the regulatory process. And let's do talk about that, because yeah. if you really dig into the weeds, the tax structure does seem to be somewhat on par if you even it out is. between California and Texas. On the question of regulation. There's a challenge there, Brad. There's a challenge with our regulatory system. To some degree, it's duplicative. Mm -hmm. You know, you can go from one city to another and it can change. And the, the city governments themselves may not be all that friendly necessarily. Some and others are. So what can we do on that front? Governor Brown. He has said, he's a Democrat, yes. you know, I want to reform, for example, CEQA, the yes. California Environmental Quality Act. The Republicans would love to reform CEQA, right. yet the reform we've seen really have been for big box. Well, I think business is looking for consistency, reliability. They don't like these changing environments consistently from one, one city to the next, one county area to the next. I think California the state legislature can bring about some consistency and some conformity in the regulatory process. So how does that happen? We keep talking about it. Well, Brad, you know, quite frankly... You're you, not in the legislature. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when we were, mm -hmm. you know, we realized that it's going to take leadership. It's going to take strong leadership. The governor's there. He's prepared to move forward. I just think you need to have some methodical thinking done you know, in this process. So I, I certainly encourage all corporations, all businesses to reach out to their legislatures. Tell us what you like to see. You know, there may be another part of the challenge is that we're not getting a message from, you know, from the, the, the people. Mm -hmm. You know, the will of the people, if it you. prevails, we'll be successful. He's Jerome Horton, Chair of the Board of Equalization. I'm Brad Pomerantz. This is Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.